on Le Mirage, a Canadian film uh, produced film in the French-speaking part of Canada. It is in, in, in French that they, they speak throughout. Um, with a protagonist, a hero that I very much identify with. Uh, he's a bit younger, I think. I think he's about 33, maybe 36. And I'm just two, three years older. I like to think, and um, he has so many things. He has a big house, he has a pool, in which at one point they talk about uh, introducing salt, um, which works better, and uh, that's interesting because I tend to go to the pool, not now, no, that's uh, the Lycée Francais on holiday, so we had a week at home, and that's another one until we return. But at this point, one, one, one issue is uh, the chlorine. Um, everything smells of chlorine. But you have to clean the water, you have to treat it somehow, and chlorine is the most frequently used uh, formula. Here, the, he can afford more or something uh, to, to think about using salt, uh, which is what they use at the best stejari. Uh, thing there is now in, in this uh, city. So, um, nevertheless, this uh, wealthy uh, family has problems. And one is financial. It's not the most important reading positive psychology. One learns that, in fact, uh, in this, this film proves the point. Uh, you can acquire more and more, but that doesn't bring happiness. And it, it's in fact a rat race, a treadmill, wherein you get a fancy car, but you get used with it, and you see someone who has a, a, a better one, so you, uh, you want that, and then on and on, and there is no limit. The sky is the limit. And um, so they have this fancy, I remember, kitchen. They were talking with guests. Uh, but why? You, I see you, 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 you order in. Why this big kitchen with so much uh, around and so, so many um, kitchen paraphernalia, machines, and mixers and yeah, indeed, we spent forty thousand uh, dollars on it. Wow, forty thousand dollars! Because we thought we would cook, but now we don't. We just get uh, pre-cooked meals and put them in the uh, microwave or something. Um, financially, there is a, a um, breaking point because uh, the man, the hero, uh, keeps spending on the kids' education, on that huge house, uh, and so much more. He has a lot of things in the, in one of the rooms, I, think, I, I don't know, is it the basement? Anyway, or the garage, with the uh, fancy uh, running machines and so on, which he starts breaking at one point because he has a breakdown. So he's in debt. He is the... Um, franchisee of, of some sports, he's, he's selling sports equipment, and, and uh, he, he's, he's in trouble financially and otherwise at one point. And um, that's one way I, I, I look at it, because um, there's similarities but major differences. Here, I'm, I like to think I, I'm the cool head who keeps saying, look, don't spend on this. No more flowers. We have already 30 minutes this that. And on and on. And I'm being accused of being, of being uh, negative. You know, but then uh, that's the limit. And, uh, as opposed to this man who is, in a way, under pressure because there's, let's go to Cuba. It's only $2,500 per person. 
sound so so such a small figure. Uh, but so he has to spend because he's asked for by wife children. Uh, there's another point where there's it, there's the this, uh, the gaming machines, uh, PlayStation. Well, you have a PlayStation, yeah, but the Xbox they came out with is better. So, and then again, Sony Station will make an upgrade. So there's no end. It's the same thing. Pressure, wife, kids. But he's also uh, doing the wrong things. And then there's the problem of his um, marital status and uh, problems with this marriage relationship. Uh, it has to do the, with the intimate moments when I remember he was going down on her and she was yawning and he says, you're yawning? Well, I'm tired, you know. Uh, so that's not good. Uh, then she is uh, doing fellatio, but uh, uh, after one minute or so, oh, I have to put the... I don't know, the bulb in, in, in chlorine, it, it cost $2,000, so I, I have to go. And again, so she stops, she's going there, and it's, 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 it's this, it, it's the honey, honeymoon effect. They say that after two years, relationships tend to come to a point where there's habit, there's boredom sometimes, and of course, successful marriages, we, we, we know, that many, so many, 40 years, 50 years, so many. And more now with people, uh, people's life expectancy uh, growing uh, ever longer. Um, uh, but so there's a way out, and there are people who are still in love, and they're creative, and they find ways to 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 um, flourish, to have the relationship work. But then there are situations where. There are so many issues, and the answers seem to be escape, escaping. And there's frequent tension. There, the here to mention maybe uh, the four horsemen of the apocalypse, as uh, identified by the ultimate expert on marriage and relationships, uh, John Gottman. His book is a classic. He's the best. He had 95% or so accuracy rating, saying who's, which couples are staying together and which will separate. And so he says it's, it's criticism, it's contempt, stonewalling, and defensiveness. These are the four. And we can see them in this film, uh, in which I will not say how, uh, what happens from one point on, but there's a lot of accumulated tension and there are some uh, climaxes. Albeit not in, in bed, um, in bed there are problems.